What's up YouTube? This is CJ Games back with the first Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video guys of the New Year's and guys as you can see we are doing an Ultimate Insect deck so the cool thing about this Ultimate Insect is it is a level up monster and when you level up fully as you can see here uh, your opponent loses 700 attack and defense so the idea is just basically to get this big Ultimate Insect level 7 out to the field your opponent loses 700 attack and defense and hopefully with that you're able to just get over any other creatures that they have onto the field. Uh, also in the deck I put Man Eater Bug, put two of these, just to kind of get rid of any monsters on the field that might give us trouble while, while we're trying to get to the stage of Ultimate Insect level 7. We also have Cocoon of Evolution, just to kind of big defense creature to try and hold out a bit longer till we get our big monster into the field. We also have three Ultimate Insect level 5s. With this one, uh, the opponent loses 500 attack. So that's also, you can back up this one so you can put both of these out in the field at the same time. Really help things out. We also play one Golden Ladybug. With this, you reveal in your hand, you gain 500 life points. It's just a way of kind of topping up the life points and kind of keeping with the Insect Team deck we have. And then we got three Ultimate Insects level uh, 3. With this one, your opponent loses 300 attack. Uh, then we also got the kind of general back row of like Enemy Controller, uh, Floodgate Trap Hole, Impermeable Attack. Uh, wall disruption and just a draining shield just kind of hold things off so what we're going to do guys is I will jump into our replays I got a few replays of duels that I used this deck for and kind of did reasonably well like it wasn't too bad um, the deck is really kind of 50-50 like either like win really fast or you burn out super fast with the deck like it is a hit and a miss so it is if you want to have fun it's a fun deck to use so as you see, we'll jump into this duel here and um, we'll see how things go, guys. So as you see, we kind of got a, a really good start at hand, guys. So we did get our ultimate, ultimate insect level three and a human evolution as well as the manier bug. So. We kind of got an ideal setup, like we wouldn't mind having a trap or a spell card just for the back row, but it's a good starting hand um, to have. It's my turn. We're also playing restart with the uh, Paradox Brothers here, just so if we don't get one of the insect level 3s in our hand, we restart just to try and get them into hand. So you automatically summon out the insect level 3 because you want that out as soon as possible to start the kind of... Uh, flow of the insect onto the field. My as you can see, she is playing the Dark Clown kind of deck. Um, I don't think this will last long enough to actually see how, what they were actually playing because uh, we finished it pretty soon I believe. Alright, summon out the next uh, Pentin, the Dark Clown. I believe the face down card was a golden apples. If I can remember uh, correctly from the duel. So, I, I, I just seen there, guys. As soon as you go into your next standby phase, your, ulti your ultimate insect will uh, ask you if you want to activate the effect, and the effect is to summon out the next level of the insect. So, you don't need anything like level up uh, in this deck because you just need that bit of time to get the cards out of the field. So we did what we just attack straight in guys. Uh, this deal was pretty simple. Like as I said, I think the back row there was a golden apples. Uh, which is fine, but our opponent just kind of disconnected as soon as uh went to their turn because they knew they had no kind of chance. I don't know what they were trying to do with the deck or anything like that, but um just kinda thought I'd show you as a quick kind of victory as that's like what it can do. I have some more interesting duels coming up now, guys. So this one against Pegasus, I believe the Pegasus deal was pretty good. You know my and I was playing a, a tune deal. Win and escape? Ha! Never! 
As you said, we got still a decent hand, we got the ultimate insect, we got a drain and shield, so it was a pretty good starting hand here as well for us. So it is, they are just playing the basic standard kind of tune deck, which was uh, pretty interesting to see. We did decide just to attack into the tune mass uh, sorcerer. There was no point in not attacking into it. And then we did be placed down the draining shield as well, as you see. Once he attacked with the two mermaid, we activate the draining shield. Just to gain that bit of extra uh, life points. Because there was no really downside in activating it now, because uh, with Pegasus, as you know, his tunes can attack directly, so you might as well just activate that as soon as you can. Very well. I special summon a monster. Now, I summon a monster in attack position. I'm setting a car. <laughs> Battle! You cannot escape. Time to attack. Oh! I'm far from done. So yeah, we just decided just to pop all the monsters on the field. We attacked the mermaid and then we end up attacking his face face down card, which was the uh, skull masked uh, ladybug. I'm not sure what kind of tune deck this guy was playing because he had kind of he had a few random cards like the skull marked labor. It, it, it might be it might be standard. I don't know. I've never actually played tunes myself, but uh, he does activate the tune kingdom, which is pretty interesting. And we do end up getting the level 7 uh, ultimate insect out to the field. And as you can see, the attack and defense this time both went down with the level 7 onto the field. I was actually thinking about doing a kind of fun one where I uh, use this ultimate insect kind of deck to kind of tin out your deck using a. Uh, um, Grandpa's carriage, you know, so you try and get an Exodia out of the field. I thought I might be interested, but I was like, would it kind of stall too much? But I might actually have a house see if I can make a video trying to get that off at least one deal. Because with, with, with this, you do turn out your deck pretty fast, like you're getting rid of cards every turn. So, that on top of a few other cards, you could turn out the deck pretty fast and get to the. Uh, Get to the Exodia uh, pieces you need. You oh. I did just plug a trap hole because I wasn't sure what he wanted to do with the two mermaid. I said it's probably best just to like make sure he doesn't. Doesn't have anything on the field that he can use at that time. And he, he just keeps saving, I believe. He keeps saving his two mermaid over and over again. And then uh, eventually we do we'll just win the duel. So we'll just quit there, guys. As you can see, we just kept going and going and going, and we eventually won. He, uh, he didn't summon into anything, he just kept trying to save his two mermaid. I don't know what he was waiting for in the end, but um, yeah, you know, it is, I'm not going to show you that guys, because literally it's just turn after turn to me just attacking, 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 and him saving it using the uh, tomb world. Not tomb world, uh, tomb, whatever that feels better, is tomb, whatever. So this one is uh, against Crowler, it's in, against an ancient gear deck, I believe. So we didn't get too bad of starting hands. We got like a few back rows. We got the floodgate trap hole wall disruption enemy controller, and we did get the ultimate insect level three. So as I said, you want that in your hand every every turn starting off. That's where you put restart on it. So if you don't have it, restart to try and get into the hand. So I ended up just using, using the enemy controller just so I could uh, attack into him. But as you can see here, he had wall disruption, which actually doesn't matter for us because we still get an attack over it. I believe we got into what is it, uh, 600, so we still destroy his knight, which is pretty good. 
And also, it doesn't matter if we go down to 600 because we are, we are like some of them out higher levels as we go. But he really does not like the ultimate insect because he ends up actually uh, tributed to doom in it. And then he summons out his ancient uh, gear um, engineer. So I assume he doesn't have the full amount of cards for the uh, ancient gear decks. He doesn't have like the beast rate like that if he's playing engineer. We end up just fucking trap hole next. We don't want to take any additional damage off him. And we just summon out our second um, ultimate insect out to the field. So he does draw into his next ancient gear knight and aside just to straight away enemy controller it. I said to myself. There's no point keeping the enemy controller and using like the wall disruption or anything like that. You might as well just use that to save save yourself this turn. And then we get the level 5 out this turn which is ba basically was game over for our opponent here. Because I, I believe he doesn't come back from this at all. And then we do get the level 7 out here as you can see. I was kind of worried about what he might have face down uh, as by activating the permanent attack. Just in case he had like just a cheeky man in your book or something like that, I don't know what he could have had back there. Well, he ended up having nothing. I believe he did that because the duel before that I was playing against a Dr. Crowler and he had a man eater bug and it literally just messed up my whole system and I was just I was fuming guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was fuming, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. I messed up just because of one misplay. So I I think that, that was a bit of a in my head going, okay, just in case, make sure to activate the uh, impermeable attack. Yeah, he just started emoting at me then. I was kind of like, okay, ask Ran, I don't, I don't really care. And then, oh yeah, he tries to super headlong rush us here, guys. And then we just activate the uh, second impermeable attack and nothing happens. I actually felt bad for my opponent at this stage because it was just unlucky that I got a second appropriate attack. Like the super headlong rush could have could have saved him a little bit. He doesn't know when to quit, guys. But we do it to manage their bug, and we ended up attack with the ultimate insect level seven and winning the duel. So there were a good few quick quick duels there, guys. And uh, that will be down for the video guys, as you can see Ultimate Insect is a fun deck to use guys, if you want to just kind of mess around, have a bit of fun with the deck, I do recommend using it just for a fun deck, it, is it super competitive? No, but is it a fun deck to use? Yes, so if you're interested in using it guys, uh, just kind of copy it down from the start of the, the video, the, the kind of deck I play, if you have a better version of it, an approved version, please post it below guys, I'd, I'd love to try it out and see if I can improve this deck, because it is a fun deck to use. Um, if you like the video guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, for more Yugi Do Links videos. And uh, to drop a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!